You know, they had always been, you know, fighting. I remember Michael Irvin, you know, when he was a freshman. We were at the training table my first season. Never seen as much food in my life. One of the office of linemen, they were just sitting in line talking. I was starving. The guys, you guys want to talk, I'm a, I, I'll just cut in order. I said, give me one of those steaks over there. Like, what's that? Give me one of those. And give I was ordering everything because you can order whatever you want. And then the guy was like, aren't you a freshman? Get back in the back, freshman, and shut up. Don't you, don't you say another word. I waited, and then I picked up my tray, and he was ordering food, and he ordered the same steak that I wanted, and I guess that was the breaking point. And I took that tray and crashed it, crashed it over his head, got in a fight with him. I brought Michael in and said, Michael, what are you doing? You beat up this 260-pound offensive guard. I'm thinking, that's it. He's going to send me home. I just cracked the tray over his starting tackles a guard head. I just cracked his head. I'm not even on the field right now. I just cracked this crit tray over his head. He said, coach, he said, as many brothers and sisters as I've got, I've been fighting for food all my life. And actually, he ended up suspending the offensive lineman. And he said to me, son, I need that fire on the football field, not in the training room. I like that you are, that you are stand up to a big guy, but I need you standing up to the guys with the other jersey on. 